some amazing Daredevil news this morning because it has been scrapped. That's right. Daredevil Born Again has been scrapped by Marvel Studios, and there will be a complete overhaul of the creative team. Let's break down the whole story, talk about what's going on, and what the future looks like for Daredevil. Well, quite honestly, Daredevil Born Again, for me and for many others, is Marvel Studios' most highly anticipated Disney Plus series. But when the strikes kicked off a couple of months ago, production on the 18-episode series was completely halted. Now, we've got a really wild update from The Hollywood Reporter, and I think this is some mixed news and does indicate Marvel is taking this series very, very seriously, and it just wasn't working. Now, according to The Hollywood Reporter, less than half of the episodes had been shot, but given time to review the footage, Kevin Feige has stepped in and apparently decided it's not working. Now, because of that, Marvel actually has let go both the head writers, Chris Ord and Matt Corman, along with any of the directors attached for the remaining episodes. Now, there are some plans to keep scenes and episodes from stuff that's already been filmed, although other serialized elements will be injected, and Corman and Ord are remaining as executive producers on what the reporter is calling a two-season series, suggesting Marvel has backed away from the 18-episode one-series format and we're likely to get two 9- or 10-episode series. The plan now is basically to reboot the whole series from a creative level, and Marvel now is on the hunt for new writers and directors for the series. Now, in case you didn't know, Ord and Corman came up with a legal procedural that was vastly different than a Daredevil series. In fact, reports are Matt wasn't even going to don his costume until the fourth episode, which quite honestly, that's problematic to me. Later on the fact it was an 18-episode season, you can see where there was pieces of that were weird and maybe forced Marvel into this position. Now, Daredevil Born again in its original form at least has been scrapped but the show will live on with new writers and directors moving forward the trade goes on to say that after greenlighting the concept marvel really found itself in need of rethinking the original intention of the show and it appears kevin feige made that decision now this overall is part of marvel studios new approach to small screen storytelling Apparently, the plan now is to begin hiring proper showrunners who will be joined by full-time TV executives in place of folks that do movies. Marvel's Brad Wonderman explained, quote, We need executives that are dedicated to this medium. They're going to focus on streaming, focus on television, because they are different forms. Now, quite honestly, after hearing all this news, it is shocking. But I have to say, being the leader of an organization like Marvel Studios, it sounds like Kevin Feige made a difficult but needed decision. Quite honestly, the lack of serialized elements in the show means the episodes were very individualistic and more than likely mostly a legal drama, which I could totally see not working for many Marvel Comics fans. Some of these experimental approaches from Marvel have led to mixed results, and I can respect Kevin Feige looking at this and saying it's not enough like the original Netflix series, scrapping the whole thing and moving on. Now, what this means for us also is that Daredevil Born Again is very likely to slip a little farther down the release calendar. But if you remember the other day, it was reported the show wasn't coming until January of 2025, and honestly, with all these new plans, that aligns perfectly. The big question is now, will more Marvel characters from the Netflix series return? How will the story ultimately be impacted? And when will we get some official production news from Marvel Studios? For all of that, we're going to have to wait and see.